what's going on you found bottom tier collector thank you for stumbling across my show i'm your host the bearded one and today we have got some dollar brand hunting loot that i want to show you guys here's my receipt i was at the deep in huntsville alabama 2310 memorial parkway i know that's backwards on the camera or maybe it's backwards on the camera right now but then when you see this video it'll be right side anyways you know what i mean the deep huntsville alabama uh if you're in the area hit them up i think they have the best back issue game in the area i call it the tri-city area decatur madison and huntsville that little area in athens is kind of in there um hard to beat their back issue uh selection we'll, we'll say that uh these were all dollar bin finds so no ncbd books i wasn't uh wasn't uh picking up books i just saw a book down here that uh i didn't show in a previous video i don't think um but i'll just throw it on there we'll throw it on at the end um but none of these, including that last book, none of these are um, NCBD books, as I just said, repeating myself. Uh, they're all dollar bin finds. Uh, I had no real objective. Uh, well, the objective was to get books I'm collecting, obviously, but I didn't go in there with, with like, a strategy. I wasn't looking for a certain character or whatever. Just I was just going to let the books come to me, and, and I would decide what I would walk to the counter with. Uh, there is a lot of one character, but that's just how the hunt went, uh, and I'm okay with that. Um, first up, we have Alpha Flight number nine. Uh, I recently said this in a different video. Um, Alpha Flight's one of these series that I'm going to be, uh, kind of like my post- wolverine hunt uh I, i'm closing in on having the first 125 wolverine issues and then then i'm gonna have to just pull the trigger on all these five and ten dollar books uh in wolverine volume one after 125 and then then i'll clean up the rest of them you know i'm cleaning cleaning them up um as we speak um but Alpha Flight's one of these series where I, I'm just going to casually collect it. And I'm not collecting all of Alpha Flight. Uh, I'm just collecting what Wolverine appears in. That That's what matters to me specifically. Uh, so Alpha Flight number 9. I think I grabbed 13 a while back in a video that I don't think made it to YouTube. But uh, yeah, again, Wolverine or Alpha Flight number 9. Next up, we have a little arc here. A very iconic Wolverine cover. Alpha Flight 87. Uh, I've not read Alpha Flight. I don't know anything about Alpha Flight other than they're a Canadian team of superheroes. Alpha Flight 88. Alpha Flight 89. And I like here on the cover... See if we can get it on there. It says, For real, the return of the original Guardian. I, I, I kind of like that. That's kind of cheesy. Um, I don't know if these books are in high grade, but they're definitely not low grade. Um, looks like I'm going to have to change out some of these boards. Uh, they got some bend to them. I don't know if you can see that. You can see that they got some bend to them. No, that's not my finger doing that. Uh, they've been in dollar. They've been in short boxes, being bent up for a while. Oh, did I show? Did I show this one? By the way, <laughs> Alpha Flight number ninety. Alpha Flight one ten, or should I say Omega Alpha Flight or Omega Flight? So maybe maybe there's some omega level mutants in this book. I don't know. 
Got an Alpha Flight 1992 Special. Another stick Wolverine cover. I'm not sure which volume of Wolverine this is in, but I know I don't have it. This is the first annual for, I'm going to say, volume three. Uh, the Jason Aaron run, but it could be volume two. Um, this just looks far enough in the run to see Greg Hurwitz. Greg Hurwitz uh, wrote the annual. So I don't know. I have volumes five and six, and and f I have volumes four, five, and six of Wolverine uh, complete. Six is still ongoing, but I'm caught up, and I don't recognize that name, so I know it's not four or five. Obviously not six. Um, here's Wolverine three o eight filling another hole in volume one. Wolverine 58, I think his name is Mark Guggenheim. I like this cover. This might be an EGS slab candidate. I don't know. Not the best uh, condition, though. Not that I need a 9.8. Now, this, I think, is... This is Mark Millar, John... R wow, if that's John Romita Jr. on the cover, I am blown away. Um... I can't stand John Romita Jr.'s art. Um, me and my buddy have an inside joke. My buddy's a huge Superman fan, and we call the John Romita Jr. Superman run uh, Mongoloid Man. Uh, he just he looks like he draws Mongoloids. I don't I don't like his art at all. I find it really jarring, polarizing. Uh, it's not good to, to me, in my opinion. If you appreciate John Romita Jr., I apologize. That is your opinion. Please feel free to disagree with me in the comments. Uh, but you're not going to change my opinion of John Romita Jr. and his art. I do know that he changed his style somewhere in the 80s or 90s to get away from being more like his dad. But that's a shame to me. Uh, he really should have kept uh, impersonating his dad, in my opinion. Next up, we have a random find. I just keep casually finding this run. Judge Dread number three from the DC run. I believe that's an 18-issue run. Uh, another run I've not read. It's just a casual collection. Um, I love Judge Dread. He's a top 10 character for me. Um, I am collecting all the Judge Dread um, ongoing comic books, except for the... the british progs there's no way i could i could uh collect the 2080 progs uh there's just too many of them but all the american uh solo ongoings much like wolverine um or the hitman or, or the demon in my collection uh definitely trying to collect them all and, and i keep casually finding that dc run i have one two and three now of the judge dread dc run uh next up we have i'll so, Excited to see this and a dollar bin. Uh, Sandman number 57. Um, loving everything Sandman. In fact, I love Sandman so much that, I, that I'm branching out into uh, all of the, the spinoff series. And, and just anything that has anything to do with Sandman and that series. And was glad to pick this up. The Dreaming number one. Um, the dreaming is where Sandman dwells, so that's, I, I don't know if Morpheus himself, uh, is going to be in this series, this might come after Morpheus, I don't want to spoil anything, I know Sandman's about to come out on Netflix, and many of us are younger and probably haven't read Sandman, uh, but I do know a big spoiler, so, uh, all I want to say about that is I do not know if Morpheus is in this book at all, or... Or what but yeah glad to have the dreaming number one I'll show that again I just I love the art for that Sandman stuff and then last but not least this was not part of the dollar bin haul this is um this has been on my watch list forever I just wasn't I wasn't a fan of the price I just kept watching it kept watching it whatever I think I even forgot about it 
Um, and then just out of the blue, I think the seller finally, finally got impatient and gave me an offer. And I said, whatever, I'll take the offer five bucks overpaid. In my opinion, this book will never be worth five bucks, but, uh, just a sleek America number one. Uh, I would, I've been missing this cover from the run. And I'm glad that I have it secured in the personal collection now. Um, when I get off here, I'm going to catalog and store these issues. I'm ready for the plastic shortage to end. I can't stand putting these non-bagged and boarded issues in my collection. Uh, but we're doing what we got to do, right, guys? Um... This would be the point where I where I talk about future projects and stuff. I'm going to try to come out with a think piece soon. I've, I've been mulling. I really want these think pieces to to generate your thinking, to, to really spark critical thinking. Um, the sweater came off the rack, and I'm trying to be discreet about it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I really want to have a good, juicy, meaty topic when I make a think piece video. Uh, I haven't forgotten about the series. Uh, I, I feel like the the Grail thank piece that I did was uh, a real a success. Uh, I got 60. It's my most viewed video. Uh, it really got traction to the video early on, and the or it got traction to the channel early on uh, in in my time here on YouTube. So so I'd like to do another thank piece. Uh, I'm just kind of mulling over what I want to talk about. Um, and, and really spark a good conversation, uh, with you guys in the comments or something like that. Um, but yeah, that, that's about where I'm, I'm going. Um, I'm kind of in a weird spot with work, so maybe you'll see more videos from me. I, I really don't know what my schedule is. Like I got off work early today, very early, and had enough time to do that dollar bin hunt. And then uh, I'm home, got a couple hours before I need to pick up my son from preschool and shot this video. So, uh, you know, I'm going to fit the videos as they come to me and, and as I have time. But I think that does it. Thank you for watching my videos as always, liking, subscribing, commenting, all of it is very much appreciated. Until next time, guys.